last year you talked a lot about um, the veterans like LeBron and, and Rondo kind of being valuable and showing you and that they won before and they could kind of show the team how to get there. Do you feel like one of those guys now? Do you feel more confidence sort of approaching this season now that you won the championship? Um. Yeah, I mean, I kind of know what it takes to win a championship now. And so far, all the guys that, you know, haven't won, um, you know, Trez and, and Wes, you know, and, um, you know, guys like that, I, I still want to be able to, you know, even though they're, you know, Wes been a game longer than me, um, you know, Tre and Trez is a great player, and I still want to be able to, you know, tell them things that can help us, you know, repeat. Um, you know, those two guys, listen, they want to win. You know, Dennis, you know, all those guys are able to to learn and able to adapt to our system quickly. And, uh, you know, they listen. You know, obviously when you have a team that's just, you know, coming off a championship, it's easier to to do. <clears throat> you know, it's easier to learn. Um, it's easier for those guys to adapt to us, knowing that, you know, we know what it takes to win. Thanks. Hey, D, um, Paul George told Matt Barnes and uh, Steve Jackson on their podcast that, uh, this is my, uh, that, that you guys had some dialogue about trying to get you to play in Indiana. Um, it, it didn't happen. And meanwhile, Friday after the part of the two year anniversary that LeBron um, you know, made it known that, that he'd like to play with you. Um, have you thought about how those things have played out? And obviously, in the context, you're going to be facing Paul George at opening night. Um, no, I mean, the Paul, Paul thing in Indiana, uh, it was a conversation for sure. Um, kind of just faded away. You know, I'm not sure what happened on their end. He said that management didn't want to do it or whatever. Um, uh, but it was, it was a conversation. Um, and then, you know, what Bron saying, what he's saying, obviously wants to, um, you know, team up and, and then, you know, the year that we do, we win a championship, so um, I think uh, Ron kind of spoke it into existence, and you know it happened, and uh, I'm glad it happened. Um, you know, for 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 me, uh, you know, selfish reasons. You know, I want to be a champion, and able to to do that my first year um, teaming up with him. Uh, but I mean, who would have known? Who who knows what would have happened with with Paul um, in Indiana? You know, he's another great player, you know, especially when he was in Indiana. He was, you know, he was definitely tough to guard. He's still tough to guard today. Uh, but I think that was so long ago that, you know, we played each other many times, you know, since then. Um, but you always think about, like, what could have happened, you know, would my career be a lot different than it is now? Yeah. Um, I'm curious. Uh, how much have you thought about kind of plan for rest and stuff this season? And kind of like whether it's back backs and stuff like that, obviously with the off season being as short as it was and the season being rest. How much have you thought about that and, and, and what do you think kind of the plan is for you? Um, I think you just take it a game at a time, just kind of see what your body tells you. Um, I said, I thought I was going to be, you know, Winded in that first, my first game back against Phoenix, um, and obviously I'm not, you know, in mid-season shape. I don't think anyone is, but I felt way better than I thought. Um, you know, I, I didn't expect to play the entire first, and I could have in the first game back. Uh, and so I'm, you know, I, I feel confident in playing, um, but you know, it, it's different when. You know, you get constantly playing, you know, every night or back to backs and things like that. So, you know, you just figure out um, game by game, you listen to your body, and uh, coach understands. He, he, he does a great job of managing us, uh, make sure that we get our proper rest, knowing that we had a shortened off season. And, uh, and I can always go and talk to him, you know, and, and uh, when my body is telling me something. Hey, hey, we're all in great shape on our <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, you, you kind of talked about your expectations for Kyle to have a big year. Um, we just got word that uh, got an extension. Um, what can that do for a player, just kind of the comfort in that and, and knowing and not having that kind of 
that year hanging over uh, someone's head. Yeah, I mean, it's good for them. Uh, you don't have that, you know, contract anxiety for the whole year. You know, now that it's out the way, he can go out there and play. Um, and which which he was doing anyway. You know, he was having a great, you know, preseason, and he even played great for us uh, in a bubble um, and all last year. So, um, you know, he he's he's locked in. He's making he made a great jump. Um, excuse me, on both ends of the floor. Uh, he wants to take those matchups. He wanted to guard Book in the preseason. He wants to guard Kawhi in the preseason So uh, and Paul. So he, he wants those matchups. He, he's playing extremely well for us on the offensive end, uh, making big shots, uh, you know, shooting the ball extremely well, making the right play, the right passes. Um, so it's, it's good for him. You know, we're excited to have him here. Uh, you know, I know he's excited to be here. Um, and he's a champion, you know, you deserve it. And I'm glad um, that the Lakers were able to, you know, work something out with him to, to be able to allow him to just go out there and play and not worry about contracts for the rest of the season. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up. Um, Jordan Richard? What's up, bro? What's up, buddy? You know, what's up? Um, can you just talk about, uh, you know, last game you got six threes and uh, just playing on the perimeter, you know, Frank ran the down screen for you to catch the three and shoot and then, um, taking a lot of side step threes. Can you just talk about, are we going to see more of AD on the perimeter this year and running, uh, you know, just some just some more isolation plays for you on the, on the perimeter? Um, you know, last year, Coach talked to me about getting my, my three-point uh, attempts up. Uh, I think I was shooting, you know, maybe three a game last year in the bubble, uh, or might have been for the season. Uh, and 38% in the bubble, and he, um, he said it, it helped us win. And he wanted me to get that average up to five uh, attempts a game. And so, uh, you know, just having the confidence, you know, working with, you know, Mike P on our uh, on my shooting um, day in and day out, constantly just shooting the ball with confidence and just letting it fly. Uh, the, my obviously the team, you know, the players want me to shoot it. Uh, they have a lot of confidence in me. Um, and so I just got to be able to be confident enough to go out there and shoot the ball, you know, whether it's a pull-up three, socks up, whatever it is, and um, just try to get that attempt up to five, just knowing that it'll help the team. Hey, Kyle, first of all, congratulations on the contract extension. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Hey, you know, you've spoken before about your path uh, from Flint and you know, going late in the first round. I just wondered what this means to you and what it crystallizes now, you know, coming to an agreement with a team and, you know, putting you with, with thank your family and, a good position moving forward. How, how does that get you, Kyle? Um, I mean, it's good, you know, um, you know, being in a situation to have my family be set for life and, um, you know, to be from Flint, Michigan, where, you know, it's a really impoverished place. And um, now I can just do a little bit of a uh, little more good back home as well. So, um, you know, it feels good. And was it important to you uh, to try and get something done before the season, Kyle, so that you didn't have to think about it? Or how did the, how did all of that weigh in uh, to the negotiation and your focus on basketball as well? Um, you know, I, I was kind of really up in the air. You know, I wasn't too bent to really try to get something done um, unless it was just the right situation. Um, you know, it's never always about the money. You know, I'm, I'm still so young. Um, in the game of basketball to where um, I have opportunities for that, but it's all about um, just the situation. And um, we got we got a great situation. Kyle Hey, Kyle. Um, you know, you talked to us the last couple of years just about the reality of living with stuff like trade rumors, sort of wondering if your situation's gonna change with this contract extension. Um, that, that really kind of takes it up, that out for certainly this season and probably beyond. What's that like to kind of not have that weight on your shoulders? Um, you know, I've kind of I've kind of been to the point where I've kind of been numb to it. Uh, so um, going through my career ever since I've, you know, since I was a rookie, I've been in trade rumors. So, you know, at, at a certain point, you really get numb to it. Um, so that's something that it doesn't really never bother me. Dave? Hey, Kyle, congrats. Uh, the other day when we were asking you about your role, uh, you basically said, hey, I don't know what my role's gonna be. And I'm curious if that 
response had anything to do with the contracts not being settled yet and, and maybe that seeping into your mentality as you were looking ahead to the season? Uh, no, not at all. Um, you know, I said what I said. Um, you know, nothing to do with a contract. You know, like I said, um, I wasn't I wasn't super bent, you know, trying to get it done at the at the jump. And, um, you know, that was just based upon um, our, our team roster and, um, you know, the little that we've kind of gone through. So. We have any other questions for Kyle? For once. All right. Thank you, Kyle. For yeah, time. no problem. No, 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 never mind. We have two more. Okay, two more cool. For Kyle. Thank you. Eric Williams? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to continue on in terms of what Dave's asking. Do you have clarity in your role now? Do you know, you know your role on the team? Um, you know, just play hard, bring energy. I think that's the most, most uh, it's important not thing. Take care of itself based on doing that? Uh, we'll see. You know, I just, I just know for, you know, to be successful, you know, playing hard and bringing energy. It's the most important thing. Okay, and uh, I guess Kyle Dillon has a follow-up. Yeah, just wondering, with LeBron and AD tied to the Lakers long-term, did that play uh, any significant role in your decision to, to sign a contract extension? Uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, I got a great situation having a two plus one player option and, um, you know, just being able to uh, align myself you know, with those guys and also just continue to learn and develop uh, as a player and a human and um, to be in a uh, uh, opportunity to be in a championship window to continue to win championships um, until uh, my deal's up when I'm into my primes. Hey, Marquis, um, now that opening night is just uh, one day away, are you accepting of the reality that you guys are back at it uh, after just winning the championship? <laughs> You know what? For me, first time winning a championship, I don't really know how it is to have a couple months off winning. So it's like, you know, I accepted it after the first preseason game. Kyle? Hey, Keith, how are you? Good, bro. Um, with the coming back with that championship in hand, do you feel like the returners of this group, um, has anything changed about their mindset? And really specifically, um, do you see anything different? I know you're kind of AD's number one hype man. Um, do, do you see anything different out of him, the way he approaches the season having won a championship? Um, no, not really. I mean, all of us had to go to win it back to back. Uh, I ain't like that word hype man you just use. You gotta you gotta rephrase that next time. I'm sorry. I just pump him up. It's just getting right. You're the best player in the world. Yeah, because that's the truth. But it, it, you know, I'm just stating facts. I ain't hyping him up. I'm just letting him you know know that that that's what it is. Every time you step on the court. But uh, yeah, you know I mean, it's the same as last year, man. Guys are focused from day one. Uh, you know, we just went through a quick preseason. Um, you know, we gotta be smart about this thing here with the long with the long with the short off season and long season. So. Uh, guys are excited to get to it, man. We got a lot of guys that's, uh, you know, that, that can play, and it's gonna be an exciting year. Let's try for Mike Trudeau again. Uh, Kyle. Yeah, sorry about that. So you should keep. Uh, that was my Zoom error there. That was my fault. I had to be the first like. Um, anyway, do you do you see a, a chance for? I don't know if Frank has gotten to this, but there are probably eleven guys on this team that you can make an argument for starting. Uh, you started some games in the playoffs. Mark and Wesley Matthews both started for their team last year. But we've seen what TFC's done in the preseason. Like Caruso started in game six in the finals. How, how does that play out when you guys have the film rooms and your discussions? And how does Frank deal with all that? Um, you know, joining this team, you know, we was deep already. So, you know, every day is going to be a battle. But, you know, we, we had a sure off season and we we're going to need 11 guys to play throughout the year. You know, we don't know how we're going to do back to backs. We don't, you know, barring injuries, we don't know how any of that. So I think we need 11 guys to be ready to play every game. Uh, you know, some games you're gonna play a lot less than others, but you know, just keeping that rhythm for this team with this long season is gonna be good for us. 
Keith. What's up, bro? Hey, man, um, how physically are you guys ready for tomorrow night's start and for the Lions of season? Or is it going to be more about being generally ready as well? <clears throat> I think mentally we're there. I think the physical part was just to show all season, you know, obviously. Uh, but we got 11 guys, you know, and they really affect like, I want to say six of us, five of us, because they don't really affect Rook because he can play all day. Uh, KCP, like a cat, he can play all day. So it don't really affect like five or six of us for real, for real. But we just got to manage that the right way. You know, we got a long season, knowing we got to go ahead and win another championship. We have any other questions for Keith? Uh, Jordan? What's up, Kyle? Oh, good. Jordan, no? All right, well, Keith, thank you. Oh, hold on, sorry about that. Sorry about All that. right. What up, right. bro? I was on my way up out this seat. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Mark Keith? What's up, man? Um, yeah, can you just talk about um, the difference between this year and last year with the bigs, you know, you had a big uh, performance in the bubble, shooting the ball from three, and this year you have a lot of bigs that can space the floor and shoot the ball, so pass the ball, pass the ball extremely well too as well. Can you just talk about that and uh, how it's going to be different, you know, for teams guarding you guys defensively? Um, yeah, I think I think uh, last year we relied on a lot on. on athleticism with our bigs, uh, Dwight and JaVale protecting the room, catching a lot of lobs. It is definitely going to be a lot different from from Mark. Mark going to be able to space the floor, pass the ball, but you won't see the crazy dunks and the crazy blocks from him. Um, he's, he's real good at taking up space, you know, uh, talking on defense. But, you know, just the versatility of the bigs that we had last year is going to be a lot different than this year.